SS24 Haute Couture Week was a history-making celebration of the avant-garde, with makeup artist Pat McGrath the moment. Let's first talk about the aesthetics of the Haute Couture. Breaking all the records is the porcelain skin at Maison Margiela Artisanal. Muses were transformed into porcelain dolls, with clear coats of gloss, airbrushed over sultry watercolor eyeshadow and, pencil-thin arched brows. Let's hear from Pat McGrath herself, all about makeup techniques and, product recommendations. Pat McGrath says, I wish I could tell you that it was just one product, but unfortunately, to create that perfect, hyper-reflective, glass-like finish we needed to play with several different ingredients, I combined several products for the show, including gel-like face masks, and yes, one was cucumber and the perfect amount of water. She explains. The technique was the most challenging piece of the puzzle, making sure we could achieve a reflective glass finish without tampering with the makeup underneath. Skin Fetish Cheek Balm is ideal for creating a dewy, glass-like cheekbone finish. Play with just the balm or the highlighter and build up your shine. The Serum Foundation delivers a serum-like finish with great coverage and buildable glow. Setting with a blurring powder will also give a beautiful mask-like finish. Another beauty detail we loved to see was the renewed love for rhinestones and crystals. Pat McGrath, yet again, made ears the canvas at Scaparelli. Painted with silver pigment and painstakingly bejeweled in hundreds of tiny crystals, each crystallized ear was complete with chunky jewel earrings to match. It seems jewels were the status quo in the beauty sphere, with models at Robert One. Makeup artist Valentina Lee embellished the models' faces using crystal gems to create bejeweled black talons, Queen of Hearts-esque red lips and, glistening gem-laden blood stains trailing from the hairline. Another buzz creating makeup, was at the Jean Paul Gaultier Haute Couture. Makeup artist, Thomas de Clover adorned models' bare faces, with leaf-shaped jewels on their brows, orbital bone, and lips. Next prominent trend was mermaid core, and Giorgio Armani Prive nailed that category. The palette is a mesmerizing fusion of aqueous tones, pale pinks, jade green, soft blues, gold flashes, midnight, and royal blues, this mesmerizing swirl of hues applied generously to the lids and brows. While an electric outing of cobalt lashes was adding to the vibes. Similar kind of hues were observed in Juana Martin SS24 Haute Couture. Romanticism was another standout makeup trend of the Haute Couture week. Virginie Viard debuted models with bold brows, glowing skin, and applying unapologetically a liberal amount of dusty pink highlighter on the cheekbones that seemed equal parts effortless and romantic. Here are all the recommendations from the artists. Tamara Ralph's Spring 2024 Couture Collection, marked by innovative craftsmanship, was the epitome of romanticism. The collection drips with sensuality and confidence, with soft makeup and tons of highlighter. Plenty of bows, pearls and flowers at the Jean Paul Gaultier Haute Couture, along with flushed cheeks on weightless faces, was another epitome of romanticism. Scalparelli, Alaya, and Fendi kept it clean, soft and bare, bringing out the wearer's natural beauty. At Scalparelli, dolphin smooth glass skin manifested in the form of muted cool tone grays and beige tones added dimension and contour to face. At the Alaya show, soft glam took new heights, focusing on the unique features of each model while maintaining a uniform luminosity and allure. Fendi opted for sleek optos and fresh face models, reflecting the elegantly understated beauty of the women. Now, let's sum up the eyes and lips trends from the couture catwalks. Brows are the latest showpieces of artistic expression. From sleek, sharp shapes to bejeweled ones, this season's couture brow looks are mesmerizing at first blink. Let's see the trends. At number one is dramatically thin, arched 90s eyebrows, at the one and only Maison Margiela Artisanal. At number 2 is Colored Brows at Giorgio Armani Pride. At number 3 is the obvious jeweled brows at the Jean Paul Gaultier. 
At number 4 is the bleached brows at Schiaparelli and Giorgio Armani. Cold Couture gave us some major lash inspirations. Let's talk then. Feather Eyeliner brings a whole new meaning to the classic winged eye, with makeup artists like Lloyd Simmons leading the charge for this avant-garde movement. At Giambattista Valley, makeup artist Karen Westerlund created beauty details that are larger than life, with black feathers standing out for black eyeliner. Erect lashes in the form of red, cobalt blue, or the ultimate color black, were very much prevalent in the couture catwalks. Cold Couture SS24 was a veritable feast for the eyes, with at number 1, the coal eye of Dior. Let's hear from Dior makeup director Peter Phillips himself. It is a two-step eye look, emphasized by a strong smoky liner on the lower lash line, and brightened by a light shade on the eyelid. Eyes look both intense and soft. Black eyeliner isn't new but, what makes this eye look different is that, it appears only on the lower lash line and waterline making it equal parts refined and sexy. The rest of the makeup look was easy, defined brows, fresh skin, and a swipe of bomb. Robert One also opted for some black coal on the lower lashes. Eyeliner is bringing back the drama this season, with precisely drawn ultra-graphic lines. George Hobika embraced nostalgia, with swinging 60s-inspired bouffant hairstyles and sharp graphic liner started from the lower lash line, meeting the inner corner of the eye, and stretching to the temples in a sharp flake. Alexis Mabille showcased dramatic winged liner, complemented by enhanced natural hair textures, for an easy, effortless vibe. The ultra-creative makeup artist Isabella Kryla envisioned a cosmic beauty look where the eyes were dusted with silver glitter that looked as if it had been blown onto the eyes and the bridge of the nose. Let's talk about lips. At number 1 is Vampy Lips. Edgy wet look hairstyles along with red and Bordeaux lips that added a vampy quality to Valentino's latest collection, Robert One and Miso Margiela Artisanal are absolutely not far behind. Starting from Rihanna, at Dior SS24 Haute Couture to Robert One, red ombre lips is another noteworthy trend. You just need a lip liner and a lipstick. Ending this video with a nail trends. Nail were observed in short or medium length, in a classic almond or rectangular shape, that stops just at the fingertips, at Dior, Christian Siriano, Zimmerman, Yudin Choi. And, let's not forget the embellished nails at Jean Paul Gaultier. From the most outlandish, bold statement to the minimalist or natural appearances, gold couture beauty was really something to talk about.